Hello guys, welcome back. Let's play some golf. Hope you're doing okay. Just watched a bit of the Queen's funeral thing as well, it's pretty good. I mean, I didn't mean it like that. Let me do it, say it like that. It's, yeah, I 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season long race for the FedEx Cup. What Today's it? coverage no. of the 3M Open is about to start. Well, we're in the state of Minnesota for the first time on the PGA Tour. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. Oh. TPC Twin Cities. What's the first line? Oh, it's a soft opening hole, 426 yards, par four, dog leg from left to right. The fairway bunker down the right-hand side really doesn't come into play. So I think players are going to take driver out and bomb it right over it. A very generous fairway. Second shot, very simple. Bunker short, bunker long. Those shouldn't come into play. Oof. All in all, it's about as simple as an opening hole as you're going to find on tour. Can't wait to see what unfolds. This putt coming up is for birdie. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. He's in a share of third place. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first. Great job. Oh. Well, I like the look of the line here. He should find the fairway. And let's have a look uh, at Tony Finau from earlier. We got a drink. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Let's get back to it, shall we? This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Wind's blowing right to left here. They're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. I didn't do anything. Going with the eight iron here. Look at that wind. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. 11 feet to the cup. Oh, I just loved the shot. This one's dialed in. And down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. Gonna like it. Two in a row. Met one of my brother's friends from Germany. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Here we are at the third. <coughs> the tea is yours. Policeman. He's a policeman. Wow, that was nice just guy. striped. He's a nice guy too. Most police guys have me are. That's a good idea, but it's not even there. That looks good. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. This one's online. Thanks. Well done. Take the birdie. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Currently at minus three for the round. Three Pretty five. sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Well, we're hearing some excitement elsewhere on the course. We give it a go, but I think it's went too far. Yep. Mm. And now we head to the sixth, where this great shot just happened. 
This is a superb shot from Patrick Cantlay. This is how you do it seven days a week. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh. Ooh, that almost went down. Okay, so that finishes that hole. Pardon me. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Wow, that was just striped. That's a rough situation. Around 140 yards here. Only one shot off the pace. That went to it. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. A putt for the lead. Who wouldn't want that? This one's tracking, and that's their fourth booty of the day. Step aside, everyone else. Now number one. Leading by a shot after that hole. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Wow. Second shot here on the sixth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Yeah. Well, it looks like uh -oh. it's too much club on this one. Getting ready to play their third. Maybe should have done that. <coughs> uh, it's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. Uh, just about eight feet left to the hole. Uh. I like the look of this. Wow, that's classy. Good save from there. Not a way to grind it out in the bunker, but up and down for the birdie. Nicely done. The shot, that shot was a Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something <laughs> brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Down here with Kevin Kisner shot. Kisner on the ninth. Used. And this putt to move into the top ten. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Seventh hole at the Twin Cities. Risk versus reward. Do you feel brave? Driver will get you glory, but an iron will keep you safe off the tee. This looks <laughs> to be a fairway seeker to me. Second shot here on the seventh. What the wind take it? Not bad. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm down here on the ninth hole as we get ready for Patrick Cantley's next shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. That should secure the par. Well done. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. <laughs> um. Pop, isn't it? This one's bunker bound. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. Oh, Sitting at five under for the day. Currently in top spot. 
Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Judging it beautifully. And that's for a bogey. Mm -hmm. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Teed the wrong club. You've arrived at a par five. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Let's have a look at this highlight. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Hoping for a bounce oh, here, fuck. preferably to the left. And here we are with the third shot. I miscommunicated though. I heard. Uh, a chance to move to five under par. One to move to. Yeah, just. Tracking. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Oh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think oh, about that lead or people will pass them. Oh, well struck. This drive's nice. heading for the fairway in my eyes. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Looks to have opted oh. for the eight iron. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Eight feet to the cup. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And that will move him to six under par. And now that finds him in first place. Teeing off here at the 11th. Mm. Well played, mate. Uh, so if I go there, there, maybe here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Yep. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. That shot. Johnny Mac. What's the news? Well, I'm over on the 18th watching Tony Finau set up his next shot. Playing their fifth shot. And back to the course with the live action. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Okay. okay. Too short. Mm -hmm. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. And down it goes. Our current leader is up by three shots. Pretty sure I've done this one before. But it's Let's see what happens here at the 12th. So it should aim to the left of the right end. Right in the middle of it. Well, this should find the short grass. That's a long one. A very long one. Here. Okay. Getting ready to play their third. Ah. Butting for birdie. <laughs> hey, nice looking line. And that's eight birdies today. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. <clears throat> and this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Uh, I'm in there for a reason. Don't worry. Oh. This one is headed to the right. Okay, this sure. would be a great up and down. 
I didn't mean to do that. I just realized the window was in it. Oh! Let's see if you can make this. Get the par on the card. Keep the par on the card. Go on, get in the hole. Yeah, you'll take that. I lined it up completely wrong. That's my fault. John, give us an update. What's shaking? This is the 16th hole. Kevin Kisner just getting ready to hit. Even for the day. Let's make a move. You're just on the fringe of the top 10. Oh, the Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Oh, the our shot. leader is up by four shots now. All right, Very getting into shot. our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14. Splop. That's a tad disappointing, mm. isn't it? Here's some action from just a short time ago. And how about this shot from Patrick Cantlay? Lining up for his third now. This shot from the first cut of rough. Yeah, I'll aim it this way this time. And choosing the eight iron here. Uh, Not a bad approach, that one, up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good call. Like so Outside call. chance here for the birdie. Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. That was a full power Putting swing. Par. That was a full Ooh, power that swing. That like a pure stroke. Currently That's at that. seven under for the day. How did that go short? That was a full power swing, buddy. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Five. Yeah. That's got one right before the bunkers. Come on, you're better than that. Not quite. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, nice. That a boy. Good shot. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. It's about a 23 foot fuck? putt from here, guys. Huh? So if I leave it like that. Steady now. This putt is about eight feet. Come on. Looking good. Okay. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Yeah, with just a slim lead coming down that stretch, anything can happen. Let's have a look at Kevin Kisner from just a short time ago. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Mm, come on. Time for the second shot at the 16th. Going with the pitching so. wedge here. Oh, what a shot by our leader. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Busted. Just didn't drop. Hey. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Now two shots up after that one. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Here we are at the penultimate hole of TPC Twin Cities, Rich, and there's water everywhere on this short par three. Water to the left, Luke. Bunkers out to the right. If you're going to find the green, you better be brave. Going with the hybrid. Well, this one might need to get down a little. That's not what I they're looking changed. for. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. Okay, safely on the surface, a chance for the puck to be hold here. 
That is. even change clubbing is still in 10 miles. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Well, Rich, this finishing hole at TPC Twin Cities really sets up for a dramatic finish, doesn't it? Risk versus reward. 583 yards. If you hit a big drive, you can take on the green in two. I had a big drive. Lovely effort, that. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Well, this is bold. Uh -oh. Their eyes are opening up. Headed for the green. Yeah. And if this chip drops, he'll win the event. Yeah. All right, let's get the focus here. This is to win the event. It's got a chance. Yeah. There you go. Well, it's only a tournament in its infancy, but this players added themselves to the three and open list of winners. Yes, it seems only great champions occur in the Minneapolis St. Paul area. I mean <laughs> What a week it was for this champion. Hats off, some great play all around. Now they're going to take that man sized check and throw in that little red Corvette and cruise on to Paisley Park. Okay, you may have just said too much again. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. See you, Luke. Bye bye. Yes. Playing this one, tributary. Ch I have done the tributary championship on a different course. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next year.